All right, hey you guys, it's, um, let's see, November 8th. Um, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, so to get out here a little early. Um, 65 degrees, the weather is horrible. <clears throat> Still, um, I really like my location today. Um, I'm right on this creek. And I also have a little uh, food plot over here. And there's another fork in the creek, which leads to a large food plot over here. And of course, the main creek goes behind me. And the main reason I chose this spot uh, is because across the creek it backs up to a thicket, which is a bedding area that I've got a lot of bucks going in and out of. Um, obviously, early morning, late evening, before sunlight. And I haven't seen any bucks on their feet during daylight, so I know they're coming in and out of here. The only constant is I have does here every single morning and night during daylight hours. So I'm hoping with this temperature drop right at 5 o'clock that last 30 minutes, maybe it'll maximize my opportunity. And I just noticed I have two mock scrapes within 100 yards of one another on this creek bank. Both of them were hit up. I just checked the chip on one of them um, or pulled the chip sorry I'm going to check it out momentarily and there's two more scrapes on this line and also there's two new bucks in the area one came in this morning one came in last night within about five or six hours of one another so um, there's a hot dough in this area um, and they're just running all these bedding areas so maybe we'll catch uh, you know a stranger in the area so, I don't know man, it's hot, terrible weather. Stick with me. Dad and I switched spots. He was over in this group of trees the other day. And I failed to mention the other night I hunted the last shooting light, I had three does come in and they were pursued by a big seven pointer. He's not one of my shooters, but he's a nice deer. Uh, passed up on him, but uh, I don't think I got any film of him. It was too dark. He was literally 15 yards from me, and he was moving nose to the ground, bird dog in those does. So that just proves to me somebody was coming in asterisk. Um, but with two new bucks in the area, it's promising. So we'll see what we do. Stay tuned. Um, man, I'm trigger happy. Hope we lay one down tonight. Dad's about 150 yards. Um, right where I hunted the other night. So if the deer do the same thing like they did for me the other night, he'll get a shot at them. But I'm maximizing both opportunities. I've got the bedding area and the palm marks, and I've also got a few shots of the food plot, which is right here behind me. So stay tuned, you guys. We'll smoke one.